Since human beings scratched their first images in charcoal from the fire on the wall of caves, we've been fascinated with the way images have appeared to move in the flickering firelight. I'm going to teach you all about the history of animation and show you how you can create your own animations using any phone or tablet. But first, let's find out more about the history of animation. We're going to start at the New York Historical Society by speaking to Joel Schlimowitz. And he's going to explain to us what a magic lantern is. It's simply a projector lit by an oil lamp um, through a lens to project moving images. Wow. So it's just two discs, one on top of the other. Yeah. And the one has the black painted on it, and the other's the photo. Right. Yeah. And it, what you, is there something on the back? You can see the mechanism, or is it all enclosed? Uh, oh, it's all enclosed. Yeah, it's a very simple mechanism. Just it's a just gear. It's gear on the outside. Yeah. And That's great. This awesome. turns right here. Thank you. The people that we have the background. Oh, yeah. And, the and they're little the silhouettes. You just pull it. And you wiggle <laughs> well, it on purpose to make yeah. them look like they're walking. In fact, it's designed with a little extra space so that you can wiggle it as oh, you pull man. it across. Oh, man. Brilliant. Oh, it's great. Look, little people going across. <laughs> That's great. They're tromping along like that. That's great. Thank you. Turn this little crank. And then the slide itself, if you come take a look. Two pieces of glass, round glass with the same pattern printed on both sides. Ah. And they turn in opposite directions. So they're both so turning. Yeah. Oh, that's so neat. Yeah, this is probably from the like late 19th century. So before movies existed, you had... Here you see a strip of paper with uh, images on it, each one changing slightly. If you slip that piece of paper into this uh, Lazy Susan with the slits cut in it, which is called a zoetrope, it actually creates a little movie because the images go by so fast that it looks like uh, the picture's moving. And in order to change the movie on a zoetrope, you just change the strip of paper. And this was a toy sold by Milton Bradley in the 1860s. In 1878, the photographer Edward Moybridge was hired by a horse trainer to settle a bet to find out if there was any point where all four of the horse's hooves left the ground at one time. Moybridge set up trip wires and 12 different cameras, and he got these phenomenal moving images. Here you can see that I took those images and created an animation with them on my phone. I'll show you how you can remove the green background and overlay your animation in front of any film. But first I wanna show you some movie stills from Emile Cole's animation Phantasmagory, the first animation ever created in history in 1908 by drawing on paper and taking photographs of 700 drawings with negative film to simulate a chalkboard effect. Due to copyright law, I cannot show you a clip of his film. However, you can find it on YouTube. With a quick search, the name of the film again is Phantasmagory. In in an earlier video, I showed you how to create animations using the app Animation Creator, and I showed you how my students were able to do that with the classroom iPads. You can actually also download the app for your phone. Um, one of the things that I suggest you do is you just Google Sprite Sheet or Walk Cycle, and you can find a lot of these images online. This is a sprite sheet of an animation that I created. Um, each one of these uh, figures was created by me to create a walk cycle. And then I put them in sequence into the app Animation Creator and created a moving image. I then added a green background, which I could later um, get rid of in order to put in any background I want. The app that I use to do that is right here. It's called Green Screen by Do Inc. And you just download that app. What you're going to do is you're going to put your animation with the green background on the top layer. And then any video with uh, 
anything you want in it on the bottom layer. And now you've just learned how to create green screen on any smartphone, and you've also learned the history of animation. This is the helpful art teacher, Mrs. Windenberg.